There's something inherently captivating about treasure. Whether it's pirates burying gold or adventurers embarking on perilous journeys, the thought of finding hidden riches stirs the imagination. And perhaps no treasure hunt has captivated the public's attention more than the Oak Island Money Pit. Oak Island, a small island located off the coast of Nova Scotia, Canada, has been the center of mystery and speculation for over two centuries. At the heart of this intrigue lies the infamous Money Pit, a supposed shaft where a treasure of untold value has been hidden. But is there really a treasure buried beneath Oak Island soil? Or is it all just a tantalizing myth that has misled fortune seekers for generations? Today, we're diving deep into the history, theories, and ongoing search for answers about the Oak Island Money Pit. So sit back, grab your treasure maps, and let's embark on this mystery together. The beginning, discovery of the petite, all began in 1795. According to the most well-known version of the story, a young man named Daniel McGinnis stumbled upon a curious depression in the ground while exploring Oak Island. Being a fan of pirate tales, McGinnis immediately thought of buried treasure and enlisted the help of two friends, John Smith and Anthony Vaughn, to start digging what they found wasn't just a random hole in the ground, it was an intricately constructed shaft. Just a few feet down, the boys uncovered a layer of flagstones, and as they dug deeper, they encountered layers of logs every 10 feet. The deeper they went, the more they became convinced that something important was hidden far beneath the surface. But after digging down to about 30 feet, they had to abandon their efforts due to water flooding the pit. It was clear this was no ordinary hole that seemed like a deliberate and carefully constructed shaft. But who had built it, and why? Early excavations and theory as the discovery of the money pit quickly attracted attention. Over the years, numerous attempts have been made to excavate the site with varying degrees of success or failure, depending on how you look at it. As teams dug deeper into the pit, they kept finding more evidence of a deliberate construction. Platforms of logs, clay, coconut fibers, and even mysterious inscriptions on stones, each new layer seemed to suggest that a hidden treasure was just out of reach. But the deeper they dug, the more challenges they faced. The most significant of these challenges was water. Each time treasure hunters got close to the lower levels, seawater would flood the pit, making further excavation impossible. This led to speculation that the pit was designed with a series of booby traps ingenious flood tunnels that would fill the shaft with water if anyone tried to dig too deep. Over time, this only fueled theories about what might lie at the bottom of the money pit. Was it pirate treasure as McGinnis and his friends originally believed? Some speculated that it could be the loot of infamous pirates like Captain Kidd or Blackbeard, who were rumored to have buried their treasures along the coasts of Nova Scotia. Others proposed even wilder theories. Could it be the lost treasure of the Knights Templar, hidden away after the fall of their order? Or perhaps the pit contained secret documents or religious relics, like the Holy Grail or the Ark of the Covenant. As the years went on and excavation efforts grew more elaborate, the allure of the Oak Island money pit only increased. The flood tunnels, a clever trap, one of the most baffling aspects of the money pit is the recurring problem of flooding. Time and time again, excavation efforts were thwarted when water from nearby Smith's Cove rushed into the shaft, halting progress. It wasn't until the mid-19th century that a theory emerged to explain this. In 1850, a group of treasure hunters discovered a series of man-made channels at Smith's Cove. These channels seemed to lead directly into the money pit, suggesting that the flooding wasn't a natural occurrence at all. Instead, it was part of a complex system of flood tunnels designed to protect whatever was buried below. The idea of flood tunnels added a new layer of intrigue to the mystery. Whoever had built the money pit clearly didn't want anyone to find what was hidden there. But the complexity of the system also raised new questions. Who could have built something so intricate, especially at a time when modern engineering didn't exist? The more people dug, the more questions arose. Theories, what could be buried there while the Oak Island Money Pit is famous for its mysterious construction? What keeps people invested in the mystery is the question of what might be hidden there. Over the years, numerous theories have emerged, each more fascinating than the last. One, pirate treasure, the most straightforward and popular theory, is that the money pit contains pirate treasure. The 18th century was a time of rampant piracy, 
with pirates often burying their loot in remote locations. Could the money pit be the final resting place of a pirate's ill-gotten gains? Some have suggested that Captain Kidd or Blackbeard may have used Oak Island to hide their treasure, which could explain the pit's elaborate defenses. 2. The Knights Templarone of the more far-fetched but persistent theories involves the Knights Templar. After the dissolution of the Templar Order in the 14th century, some believe that the Knights fled with their immense wealth and religious relics, including the Holy Grail or the Ark of the Covenant. According to this theory, they traveled to Oak Island and constructed the Money Pit as a place to safeguard these priceless artifacts. 3. Shakespeare's Lost Manuscripts, a less well-known but intriguing theory involves the works of William Shakespeare. Some believe that Shakespeare's plays were not actually written by him, but by Sir Francis Bacon, an English philosopher and statesman. According to this theory, Bacon hid his original manuscripts, along with other treasures, in the money pit to protect them from political enemies. Supporters of this theory point to supposed Masonic symbols and codes found on Oak Island as evident. 4. Spanish or French treasury Another possibility is that the money pit was constructed by the Spanish or French during their colonial activities in the New World. They may have hidden gold or other valuable treasures on Oak Island to keep them safe from English forces. The use of coconut fiber, a material not native to Nova Scotia, suggests that whoever built the pit had access to resources from distant lands. Five. The Freemasons' Freemasonry has long been associated with the Oak Island mystery, largely due to the symbols and carvings found around the pit. Some believe that the money pit was built by Freemasons as part of a grand ritual or as a hiding place for their secrets. Others think the pit was designed to store sacred knowledge, hidden away from the uninitiated. Modern excavations, has the treasure been found? The mystery of the Oak Island money pit has continued well into the modern day, with various teams of treasure hunters trying their luck at uncovering its secrets. Perhaps the most notable effort in recent years has been that of the Lajaya brothers, who have led an excavation effort since 2006, which has been chronicled on the History Channel show, The Curse of Oak Island. Despite modern technology and extensive funding, the Lajina brothers and their team have yet to discover definitive proof of a treasure. However, they have uncovered intriguing artifacts, including old coins, a Roman sword, and even evidence of human activity dating back centuries. But the ultimate question remains, is there really a treasure buried beneath Oak Island, or is it simply a cleverly constructed hoax? For the treasure hunters who have dedicated their lives to solving the mystery, the hope remains alive that one day they will unearth the riches they believe lie hidden in the depths of the pit, the curse of Oak Island. Is it real? Adding another layer to the mystery is the so-called curse of Oak Island. According to local legend, seven men must die before the treasure can be found. So far, six people have lost their lives in various accidents while trying to uncover the money pit secrets. This has led some to believe that the island is cursed, and only once a seventh victim has perished will the treasure be revealed. While the curse is likely just a product of folklore, it certainly adds to the eerie atmosphere surrounding Oak Island. For many, the idea of a cursed treasure hunt makes the story even more compelling. Is the treasure real? After more than 200 years of digging, countless theories, and numerous lives lost, the mystery of Oak Island endures. The Money Pit remains a tantalizing puzzle, luring adventurers and treasure hunters with the promise of hidden wealth. But as the years go by and no definitive treasure is uncovered, the question grows louder. Is there really a treasure hidden beneath Oak Island? Some believe that the treasure has already been found and secretly removed, while others think it was never there to begin with. Perhaps the true treasure lies not in gold or jewels, but in the mystery itself, the story of Oak Island has captured the imaginations of people around the world for centuries, and that in itself is a kind of treasure. In the end, whether there's treasure buried beneath Oak Island or not, the allure of the unknown will continue to draw people in. The search for answers, the excitement of the hunt, and the thrill of discovery, that's what keeps the legend of Oak Island alive. So, is there a hidden treasure in the Oak Island money pit? The answer remains elusive, but one thing is for sure, the mystery continues to be one of the most captivating stories of our time. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the mystery of the Oak Island money pit. If you enjoyed this deep dive into one of history's greatest treasure hunts, don't forget to like, share, 
and subscribe for more content just like this. Until next time, keep exploring the mysteries of the world who knows what you might find.